Disinformation is a strategy to deceive with an intention to polarize groups that have different views within society. Ultimately, it can weaken society until there is no common ground to stand on. Unfortunately, disinformation is quite active in Lithuania. Five years ago, they dramatically increased the, the flow of disinformation on the news portals. That was reason to start to fight back. The elves, they are the grassroots movement working undercover to stop somehow or to, or to decrease disinformation. We elves, because we're fighting trolls, trying to follow their posts, to debunk them. Elves movement is growing. But, you know, it's, it's, it has some limits. There needed to be a solution which could speed up the debunking process. When we are speaking about disinformation, some specific keywords are being repeated over and over again. So we developed a tool that is constantly looking for these keywords, for these narratives, automating detection of potentially harmful articles. I'm Viktor Dokshas and I'm the head of debunk.eu. The debunk platform will analyze thousands of articles each day in nearly real time. AI can topicize each content piece and score the articles by the narratives and by reach and how harmful is the content. Google helped us uh, to fund the whole debunk uh, project as it is today. Back in 2016, we started to write about uh, disinformation issues, but all that was done manually. Now, with the help of Google, we had a chance to create a system that joins the efforts of the elves, of the journalists, and of the AI specialists. And we could manage to debunk an article from the beginning till the end in a matter of two hours. There is no way that you could do it in a proper way without technology. This information is created at a large scale, and uh, you need the right tools to counter that. We have grown stronger as a society. It's sort of a never-ending fight, but eventually I'm quite optimistic about the outcome. We want to make society a little bit happier, a little bit more resistant, a little bit more safe and I find it really, really empowering to be able to contribute to that. <laughs>